Hey guys, so in this video, I'm just gonna go over the literally just the bare bones of a motivated seller campaign so that you know how to set up um, the basic campaign structure. So there's some things I will not go over in this video due to uh, time sake, but basically what you're gonna do, I'm assuming you already have a business manager set up and you already have a Facebook page that you're gonna run the ads from. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click create right here and you're going to, under new campaign, you're gonna click lead generation here. Now I've already done that. So that will create this campaign here. And you'll have these three sections here in the top. This is your basic campaign right here. This is the ad set, which is where you select your audience and budget. And this is the actual ad, okay? So here, you're just going to make sure that the special ads category for housing is selected. That's very important. Um, United States. You're going to go down. This is this should be under lead generation. And you don't need to worry about that other stuff. Under the ad set, uh, you can name it here. We don't really need to do that now. You're going to select your Facebook page, and you have to accept the Facebook terms and conditions. Um, you're going to turn dynamic creative on. That will allow you to test out multiple images and different ad copies all at the same time. Under here, you're going to select your budget. This is how much is this going to spend daily. You don't need to change any of this other stuff, but just change how much you want to spend per day, as long as that ad is on and running. Under audience, all you need to do is go to locations here, and you can edit and basically get rid of United States, and then choose where you want to run your campaign. So if you wanted to do Houston, Texas, for example, Right there, you click select Houston, Texas, 15 mile radius. And you're gonna to wanna to put this on people living in the location, not people passing through. Uh, this should be set to English so that we don't have um, you know, people that maybe can't speak English reading the ad and not understanding what the ad is. Uh, that just helps a little bit. And then under placements, automatic placements is fine, especially if you're gonna be using video. Um, if you're only doing images, sometimes manual placements is better. And if you're going to do manual placements, just put it on Facebook newsfeed. I, I think uh, until you have more experience, that's all that I would recommend there. Automatic placements is fine for what we're doing though here. And then you go to the actual ad. Um, if you have an Instagram account, you're going to run ads from Instagram. That's where you would do that, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, you're going to go down to here in this area. You can select images, videos that you can upload. I can create another video sometime on um, you know, how to, how to find maybe good images or what to look for. But uh, for now, I made a video that you can check back on and um, it talks about how to use the ad library to look at what other people are doing in their ads. So I would recommend using that for ideas for you know, your, your ad copy here, which is primary text, your headlines. Don't worry too much about description. But basically, you can test out multiple different ad copies. So you can add up to five different ad copies and you get up to 10 different images. And in the call to action, I suggest using learn more. Um, none of these other ones really make sense. Uh, get quote, I think some people maybe have tested that before, but I suggest using learn more. And then you're going to create your lead form here. I think I'll maybe make a different video on creating the lead form um, just because there's, there's a bunch to that. But what I recommend for your lead form is that if you want to get higher intent, higher quality leads, then add maybe a few more questions to that lead form other than just name, email, phone number. Right now, Facebook does not allow you to ask directly for the, the address in the lead form. Um, so that's why a lot of people have moved away from doing lead form campaigns to conversion campaigns, but lead form campaigns still work just fine. You can ask for the address when you get the lead on the phone. So make sure you're asking for name, email, phone number. And you're also um, asking some qualifying questions in there through multiple choice questions. And I can go over that later, but um, the lead form is connected to your Facebook page. And that's where you will be able to go and actually find the leads. Um, let's see, I think. And so that's basically, that's basically it for this type of a campaign. This is kind of the bare bones setup, right? You have your, uh, again, you have your campaign, your ad set, and your uh, actual ad here. And close out of that. And when you look at it in the campaign manager, you'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to see how many leads you're getting here under results. 